Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappingkatie.ctmh.com and I am joining the creative design team today to bring you creative ways to use specialty papers. Now I have chosen vellum as my specialty paper, but be sure that you visit all the other creative design team members to check out what they are showcasing today. Now, I have pulled out my package of 12 by 12 vellum sheets from close to my heart, and these techniques are probably something that you've already seen before. I just kind of wanted to remind you and kind of share my love for this wonderful specialty paper and all the different ways that they can be used, and that's what you'll find in this video. Make sure you check around or you stick around till the end of this video to just see some past artwork that I've kind of jazzed up with these vellum sheets. So some of these vellum um, pieces were cut with my Cricut and then you saw where I pulled out some of the thin cuts and then um, later on I'll be embossing the vellum. So for this first card I have just pulled out a card front and then my multi-purpose mat and my peach shimmer brush and I've just squirted that on the multi-purpose mat and flicked that all over the card front and if you haven't done that before I urge you to try it and there are different methods if you actually thump the barrel you'll get a different splatter than if you just kind of shake it. So right here, I am just taking this bell jar image, and it's just an outline, and I just applied liquid adhesive, and I'm gluing that on top of a vellum piece that I've also cut the same shape. And then I'm going to assemble these gorgeous sunflowers. Now, all the cuts for this card are part of the Flower Market Cricut cartridge that is a Close to My Heart exclusive cartridge that can be purchased through my affiliate link, and I will leave that link down below. It's got tons of florals. It's actually got a pretty um, font that can be used either to cut or to write using your Cricut machine. And then I just love all the layers especially these sunflowers. So I've just glued those together with liquid Tombow adhesive and now I'm just kind of adding some dimension with our thin 3D foam circles for the center of those flowers. So for the stems, I am going to cut off the leaves because um, that jar is kind of small and those leaves just don't go um, very well on the inside. For the stems, I'm cutting off just a tiny piece of the bottom and that way the stem, I can make it look like the stem actually goes all the way to the bottom of the jar, much like a real life jar of flowers. So right here is where I am picking up that little piece that I cut off and putting it down at the bottom and then that way it looks like that stem is going all the way to the bottom of that jar. So I'm going to finish up these two stems and then go ahead and apply adhesive to the back of this bell jar. And I'm only applying adhesive. You know, vellum, vellum is one of those um, specialty papers that I think people stay away from because it's hard to add adhesive to um, without it showing. But if you only add adhesive to the parts where there are some solid cardstock or maybe some glitter gems or something like that, it just adds that soft look. And that's what I try to do in this video is show you how you can adhere it to the places without seeing the tape. So I'm adhering that down and then those leaves that I've cut off, I'm just going to tuck those in underneath those flowers. And since I added thin or since I added 3D foam adhesive, it makes it really easy to tuck them in. And then I'm going to add a clear shimmer brush to the center of those sunflowers. So for the inside or the sentiment of this card, I do pull out several stamp sets. I want to put one on the front, but with that love that's cut out of that um, bell jar, um, just another sentiment on there just kind of looked funny. So I just finished it off on the inside. And then here's another card. For the most part, I already finished this card off, so you wouldn't have to watch that part. But I've just pulled out plain black ink, and I'm going to stamp directly onto the vellum that I cut with one of the thin cuts that comes with that Queen Bee stamp set. Now, you do want to make sure that that ink dries on that vellum before you touch it. So I'm just pulling out my heat crafting tool to make sure that that was done. And now it's dry and I'm going to apply adhesive. Now again, I'm just applying liquid adhesive right there on those little leaves where they meet and then pressing down onto that card front. And it just kind of gives that soft look of that be kind sentiment. 
that vellum just kind of softens up that sentiment. And then I'm just going to add some little bitty tiny sparkles to where those the center of those flowers and then just kind of secure that thread jumble down on the front. So for my third card, I have embossed this vellum. Now I'm only applying adhesive to the top of the vellum and then I'm going to cover up that adhesive. You can see that that adhesive shows. So I'm gonna cover that up with some of our silver shimmer trim, which is self-adhesive. And then I have on the Cricut, again from that Flower Market Cricut cartridge, I have cut this Gerber daisy and I've cut all the layers using vellum. Now you do want to be careful when you pull that vellum off your Cricut mat. Um, the vellum tears really easily. So you just kind of want to be careful of that. And then to attach this Gerber daisy, I'm going to use um, glue dots. So I've just applied those to the back of that daisy and then adhered that down to the card front. Now you really can't tell from the photos, but if you'll head over to my blog, maybe you can tell just the softness and the elegance that this vellum added to this card. And I love that sapphire and then that um, saffron ink. So for the inside of the card, I am using the August 2020 stamp of the month. It retails for $18.95, but you can get it for $5 with a $50 qualifying purchase. So I'll leave that link down below as well as link to the vellum and anything else that I used. So here are the layouts that I've pulled out. Now these are older layouts that I've already done, but I've decided to add some vellum that I've cut with my thin cuts. So this layout already had some stars. So I'm just taking those vellum stars and I'm adding here and there, and I'm just using liquid adhesive. So for this layout, since the majority of those stars are adhered on that uh, yellow background piece, you really can't see the adhesive. That one right down under the photos, you kind of can see because there was some mixed media right there. Same thing with the snowflakes. Now this is an older layout, but just by adding the softness of those vellum snowflakes, it just adds so much to this layout. So for my final layout, it's probably one of my favorites. It's probably about 20 years old. It is a picture of my granddaddy and he wrote this poem. Um, it had to, you know, do with coming back from the war. It had to do with his family. And so I printed that poem on vellum and then just added it over his photo. And I'll have still shots of all this artwork on my blog and I'll leave that link down below. But I hope that I've inspired you to break out your specialty paper, especially vellum, and try some of these techniques out. Here are some close-ups of those cards that I made using the vellum and the Cricut cuts, as well as those older layouts that I jazzed up using the stars and the snowflake thin cuts and that vellum. Now, don't forget that this is part of the Creative Design Team YouTube collab, so you'll want to hop on over to Erin's YouTube channel next and see what she has to share. If you liked what you saw, please leave me a thumbs up and a comment, and as always, I would love to have you subscribe and sign up for notifications.